Hey everyone, so today what we're going to be doing is looking at all the things I've done to this Jeep to transform it from something I drive on a daily basis to something that I can use as an overland setup while I travel across Canada. So right now I'm just taking out the back seat seat belts because I'm not even going to have a back seat. Why have the seat belts is just a waste of space. That way when I build that box for storage, I can build it all the way to that wall instead of where all these brackets and things are for the rear seat. Little things like that can save a lot of space, about like an inch, maybe half an inch. You run that 30 inches all the way down and that's on both sides. It really adds up. So here's a quick montage of the build. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. So today I'm going to be going over storage, sleeping situation, and then just a couple other things that I'm still doing or have pretty much almost done to just make it as perfect as I can for this trip. So let's take a quick look at my water, how I'm going to be organizing water and having clean water as I do this trip. So this is my water setup, but my plan is just to have two of them easy to get at. And then when I want to use it, all I have to do is just turn it sideways. Kind of worked out really nicely that it's just right over the edge. So that's what I'm going to be doing for water. And uh, let's look at the rest of my setup for food and things like that. Canned foods, nuts, things that really don't need to be refrigerated, but I don't want in the Jeep just in case of an animal. I'm going to be storing it here. So let's take a look inside. That's not dried food. So it looks like I grabbed the wrong bin, but uh, I have another one that is dried food. And uh, wow, this wind just makes my hair look great. This one just has uh, an extra tent, some camera gear, I have my spade in here as well. I'm going to be doing a video on every single thing that I've gotten so far for this trip. So I'm not going to go too much in depth with this or the food or anything like that, but just showing you, hey, this is kind of where the food is going to be when I uh, want to put the right container in. So let's move on to the next part. Okay, so before I show you uh, that, I want to just show you the back of the trailer because I know I'm going to forget. This is where I decided to store all my extra gas. Before, I think I had five, 15 liters, which is not enough. You need uh, a lot more. Now I have 15 gallons. So I'm pretty happy with how that is turning out. So yeah, let's take a quick look. So here it is, super basic. Each one of these large ones, I believe is five gallons. And then this little guy over here is five liters. This is like last resort if I absolutely need it. This is probably the, the best way for it to be out of my way. Okay, so the bed and storage. This is my bed setup. I'm 6'4". I try a little bit, I can actually fit. My head would go here and then my feet were the dashes. I had very low expectations for the comfort of this. Seeing how it is on, seeing how it's literally just on plywood, very thin air mattress. You can stay inflated. This has probably been inflated for about a month and a half. A, uh, a single blanket uh, and pillow, or well, five pillows, but can move these. Yeah, so I have my fire extinguisher here for a couple of reasons. If there ever is a fire with the Jeep itself, I can actually reach it from the driver's seat. Secondly, if I'm cooking in the back, for some reason, there's a fire back there. This is like the closest to that area I can possibly get. On the other side here, this is where I put my cooler. I wanted to store this inside the Jeep. I'll probably be running AC. I just found it a little bit more secure and it also didn't fit in the trailer and it kind of just it fit here nicely, so that's where it is. Right beside my cooler, I have a multi-purpose knife. And then right below that, I have bug spray and hand sanitizer. 
if I'm gonna be cooking here and all my stuff is here, it's kind of nice just to have like cleaning, cooking, storage, actually cooking. The water is like right there. I don't know, it just makes for a nice little system where I don't think things are too crowded. When it is time to cook, basically all, all I do is just flip this over. And then that gives me uh, an additional little workspace where I can put pots, pans, all of my cooking gear like that. But not least is my propane stove top. So a bonus to having a throw cage on my Jeep is not only does it help with this awning, let's say I don't really want the awning out, I can always take it off, not the awning, but the roll cage, and it's like the perfect height for a table. So I can have maybe like over here, just an additional table with like more stuff set up. Okay, so now let's look at the front of the Jeep. What I have here is where my power inverter is. So that's how it looks. I have it run uh, directly to the battery. I have a breaker just in case I overcharge something. It protects the power inverter and whatever's plugged into it. And it also protects the battery. And this is my on off switch for it. I wanted to make sure that my glove box can still open. Yeah, so I never really use the power inverter when the vehicle's off, just cause I know I would drain the battery. I do have a booster, but I don't want to use it. So my mindset is I'm only going to be using this when I'm driving from one spot to the next, charging up laptops or your cameras or phones or drones. So that's basically, even if I'm like parked and I'm cooking or uh, something like that, I'll have it running if I'm using it. And uh, another thing is I'm not going to, like I am going to be putting stuff in here, but if I'm running it, I'm not gonna have stuff like jammed up all around it, just cause that's kind of silly. The inside look into, but that little hole that I have open. So if I wanted to run a power cord, I can. Uh, this is also where I store all my clothes. So this duffel bag right there. Yep, that's where all my clothes go. Just a week's worth of clothes. So where the passenger seat used to be on the side, right under the ventilation. This is where I carry my hatchet. Um, if I am off-roading and I need to, you know, chop out some branches, I try to keep this here. You know what? I'm going to put this with the hatchet. Yeah, so that was the video. I hope you liked it. I had a lot of fun building this. I have one more thing to do with all of the wood. I'm going to take it out. I want to stain it so it matches the same color as that fold-down table. And then uh, just put it all back together. And that's pretty much it for turning my Jeep from a, a daily driver into uh, overland setup. One of the things with overlanding is it's always changing as you're going and you have to be okay with letting things go or losing things. So every single thing I have on this Jeep, I am fine with letting go, giving away or uh, changing as this trip develops on its own. So hope you enjoyed it. Hope that I uh, gave you some cool ideas and uh, have a great day.